Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to discuss the Lightwave RF system um, as a home control system and your options for interior blinds, um, specifically electric interior blinds. And the thing you need to be aware of is that Lightwave actually uses a relay, um, which means that you need a switch control motor on 230 volts to connect to the Lightwave system. That's great, but it's, um, it's something that limits your options on the Somfy side because there are only a few motors that are actually um, 230 volts and can fit a, a blind. Um, one of these is actually the Suness. Uh, it's a Suness WT. This is a 330 version. Um, and that's actually switch controlled. And that's one motor you can use for your um, Lightwave RF system and connect it to their relay. Um, now we have kits available um, that are based on this motor and we can also supply complete blinds. But it can be that you already have an RTS motor from Somfy um, or a 12 volt motor and those motors cannot be connected to um, the relays. So what can you do then? Well the only thing possible then is to use Tahoma. And Tahoma can then work as a bridge because both uh, Lightwave RF and Tahoma uh, work with IFTTT. So that's basically a bridge then that you use to, uh, to control your RTS motors um, through the Lightwave system. It's a bit of an expensive bridge because the Tahoma is £279, pounds, um, but you can always contact me if you, if you want to go that route and then I'll, I'll get you a better price for that, but still it, it adds significantly to the installation cost. But then again if you already have your blinds uh, RTS based, or for example you have a Roman blind for which there isn't even uh, a 230 volt motor, then that's the only option you have. Now that's it for the, uh, for the integration with Lightwave RF. Um, if you have any questions about it or you have some uh, solutions you need for your current situation like automating your blinds, do let me know. You can send me an email to my email address that's mentioned in, uh, in the description below the video or you can just comment on the video itself and then I'll, uh, I'll make sure I'll get you an answer that's uh, specific to your situation. In any case, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it and then uh, I'll see you in the next time.